Dispel that. GG here. Boom. Drop mist here. Try to focus the boom. Maybe we just kill. Nice. Nice. That's the first 20 of the season. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This mystical today. I am bringing you a plus 20 Brackenhide Hollow. We timed it with a good amount of time left. Uh, this is the build that I've been running. I think it's a pretty good build. I like it a lot. I am still trying to get used to playing the Zen Pulse. I don't really like it that much, actually. I'm thinking about moving it around a little bit to like play around talents over here. Uh, my damage breakdown is Rising Sun Kick, Blackout Kick, Touch That Spinning Crane Kick, then the Claw of the White Tire, which is... Um, it's actually the end of the Windwalker talents. So those are my top talents. These, this is my top healing. You have Ancient Teachings, which is obviously going to be your top heal. Gust of Mist somehow getting in there. I think it's mostly from the uh, GG and using Instant Vivifies because I use Vivacious Vivification. And then you have Shaylin's Gift of Mist Vivify. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions, any questions you might have. That's going to be it. I hope everyone's fantastic for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. Hello, everybody. This is a... Plus 20, Brackenhide Hollow. Okay, don't judge me here. This is my first 20. This is, I also haven't done <laughs> half the dungeon. I've done our 11s. So, listen, listen, we're just going to try our best here, okay? And this is with my guild, so I really would like to not embarrass myself as well. So, I have the healing here. On use, not on use, well, on use trinket. I, my ammo level is 2. 227. So I don't think it's that high. It's really it's really not that high. And I should be fist weaving right now, but these mobs actually terrify me. So uh, it's raging fortified, whatever the other one is, uh, whatever this is. Like all I know is I hate it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really hate this affix. <laughs> I'm gonna todd this guy. Bother me. This? Oh, I thought that was I thought that was my tank. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna do our best. I'll try to go through the mechanics as we go. We are of course fist weaving. Um, I do I do enjoy fist weaving in Mythic Plus a lot. So oh, get out of that, please. Um, and yeah, hopefully we time it. If you're seeing this video, we timed it. So it's a little spoiler for you. <laughs> we we timed the key. Uh, we want to kite this guy. Uh, we're going to go for a little Shailun's Gift here. That's a bub. I don't mind it. Sweep everything. All right, let's start doing damage, please. Like, All right, we should be okay. Um, these guys have, like, fixates and, like, all this. So I don't, I don't want to stay close to them. It's really awkward for Fist Weaving or, like, any melee healers. I'll kill this guy, though. And then you also have the Rage Storm that you have to deal with. It's, it's kind of annoying. But it did pretty well. We have two pallies. So the new mechanic, by the way, you learned it. I learned I, the new affix. I don't know what it's called. It's something. What's it called? It's called uh, Afflicted. You want to dispel pretty much. You, you want to dispel the mobs that spawn. Kick that. So you can do your best to dispel ASAP. Dispel that. Avoiding. Don't pull these guys. Don't do it. It ain't worth it. Kick that. Sweep everything. Okay. I am running Vivacious Vivification as well for Instant Vivifies. I think it's pretty good uh, with our four set. So, taught that thing, because why not? It's just Chi here. Spell here. Don't invoke Mist Talent. Don't know how I feel about um I'm gonna do Thunder Focus Team Velvet Mist. Um I don't know how I feel about what's it called? Zen Pulse. I don't know. I'm still trying to get used to it. I don't know if I like it or not. I think it's pretty good, but yeah, it just takes some time to get used to it. I didn't get the cage over here. Got him. Try doing my job, baby. What's up? Uh, I, I this is the dungeon I've probably done the most, um, because I was trying to form the verse master ring. So I, I know I know the mechanics in this fight, and I think like the, the bosses in this place on non tyrannic are like pretty. They're really they're super straightforward. You know, there's nothing. There's no surprises. I do hate the first boss. I'm not gonna lie. I do hate the first boss. Sweeping everything here. 
I'm just going to cheat you here, too. Oh, my. I don't think that was my fault. Hope not. I got debuff, though, from the uh, thing. Dispel this. Um, cocoon this. Keep myself alive. Targeted. Revival everything. Cut it out. Nice. Nope. Hmm. I actually don't know how I died there. Kiting this out. Little gnome legs moving. I need to get some mana back from this guy. Todd. It's simplify. Be healing. I'm gonna just try to restore mana back. Yeah. <sighs> clean. Honestly, pretty clean. Again, probably drink after this. I also have Chigi coming back, so uh, that should be good enough to get through the next full, next few pulls. Be healing, dispel that Chigi here. Spinning crane kick into a blackout kick into a spinning crane into a blackout kick should be pretty good here. Doing miss, doing miss as well. Instant vivify. Chi wave. I'm just gonna spam blackout kicks just to get mana back. Can I wrap this guy back? No, I cannot. Spell this. Okay. All right. Cool. It's nice when your pal is on your team, right? Damage here. Mostly just trying to get mana back from uh, blackout kicking. Throw a vivify on this fella right here. That should be fine. I don't have Chigi for this. So, we've got on use here. Throw envelopments on the tank. And just kind of start cranking. I do have a 10 stacker of Shailun's Gift. Dispel that. Uh, don't know what just hit them so hard. I do have Chi Chi back, though. What Chi Chi here? Dispel. Vault Mist here. Oh, maybe it was a debuff. Yeah, it was probably the debuff that hit him. Fortified hurts. The damage here. Dispel that. No. Dispel. Nice. Kick that. Don't have kick. I get Todd, though. Todd that. Good. Nice. I'm going to try to drink super quick here. 20% mana should be fine to get through the next pull. Renewing mist. Renewing mist. Fainline Storm kicked that. Nice job pulling this pack before the uh, patrols got there. Sweep everything. Yeah. We can get a lot of mana back here too, so we shouldn't have to slow down. Renewing Mist, Renewing Mist. Be healing. I think we got mana there, which is good. I think we gained like 10% mana in this pull. Nice. I, oh, I thought I was my little gnome body could fit through that. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's drink super quick. This boss, I this boss is pretty annoying. I'm not going to lie. But there's a few mechanics. But should be able to handle it. Let's put Renewing Mist out. Probably going to kill Gash Tooth first. Or trick to him. It doesn't really matter which, honestly. Be healing. Shailen's gift here. Good. Nice kick on that. GG here. Dodge Blade Storm. Oh, it's not me. Oh, it's my on my priest. Okay. Good. Going back into the fight. Go back. Kick that. Okay, Yulon's down, or Chi-Gi's down. Dispel that. You could also heal them to full, but I've never actually had to heal them to full. 
Uh, t that I just had a debuff on me. You want to heal me above 90% health. Or you want to heal whoever has above 90% health. Uh, we got to kill the totem here. Then I can dispel the tank. Hopefully. Dispel you. Nice we bubbed, which is really good. Guys, good, good. Okay. Kick that. Dampen harm here. Dispel that one. Revival. I'll just go for a Shaylin's gift here. Yeah. We have the debuff on us. We want to heal it. Yeah. Cocoon you. Go. Should be okay. Yeah. Dodge the uh, blade storm. Dodge the blade storm. Nah, we're killing it, baby. We're killing it. Oop, dodge. I wish I had extra range on my spells. <laughs> but I can't. All right, there we go. All right, I, we definitely, it's kind of, it's not a gauntlet this next part, but I think we're going to go right here. And um, it's definitely going to be a little bit of a drought. So I want to make sure I keep my renewing, my renewing mist. I'm telling this to myself, not you. I'm telling this to myself, so I don't forget. I want to keep renewing mist up. Boom. Sweep everything just so we have time to recover. Thunder, I'm just going to Thunder Focus and Belt Mist to get the uh, um, Belt Mist out, and then we'll just start cranking we'll use our little tiger statue thing dispel here dispel the root okay kick that i don't have kick we do have chiji coming in hot though um, we'll save chiji for like if we pull this next pack okay we do okay on use here be healing belt missed out I can even go for a Thunder Focus Team Belt Mist. I'm going to throw it on my Prius as well. Dispel this guy instantly. Nice, good. Kick that. Dodge this. I do have a 10 stack uh, Shalem's Gift. We also have two Pallies. I think they can dispel. I'm pretty sure they can dispel. So maybe we get a dispel from somebody. Uh, right now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep renewing Mist and dispel as many people as I can. Um, I should actually probably dispel the tank. Um, ASAP, seven stacks, going to dispel, good. Yeah, really well done here. I don't have a dispel for this. Okay, good. I'm trying to keep renewing mist on everybody so that I get um, procs from my two set or the Mistweaver two set. And then from there, you can kind of get mana from Teachings of the Monastery, which is from Blackout Kicks. So downtime like this is really good. It's not good. Obviously, you don't want to take too much time, but... Todd here, good. Uh, I should have a 10 stack. I'm gonna get quick sips here. Um, I do have a 10 stack shooting gift though, which is really nice. So, trying to focus team about missed here, dispel that. Be healing here. I don't know how long, the one thing I don't know about shooting gift is how long I should hold onto it for. Like, should I get rid of it immediately? I feel like I shouldn't. Uh, we're gonna Chiji here for sure. I'm just gonna cocoon too. Dart on the tank, give me some time. Good. Sweep everything. Uh, dispel that. And we do have on use here too. I'm gonna throw the Shaylin's gift right now. Yeah, dispel tank. Yeah, so the first boss and the last boss are really the only bosses that really have many mechanics. There's not much many mechanics for this either. Dispel that or kick that. Bubble for my rep pally. Um. The other two, the second and third boss, like the big, I don't even know what to call it. The big blob, I don't even know what to call it. Um, three stack here, I just need something. That boss and then the uh, the trap, the hyena boss, really don't have much going on. So. Um, right now, I'm trying to, again, just do damage and put blackout kicks. Use blackout kick as much as I can. I will probably go for a drink after this pull, but... I want to still have as much mana as possible. I don't want us. To, I don't want us to have a lot of downtime because of me. You know, I don't, I'm not a fan of that. All right, throw hot in the tank. Quick sip here. Yeah, quick drink. <sighs> Good. 
Thunder Focus T with Chi G, get the hot out. Spinning crane kick, blackout kick to get another enveloping mist. Spinning crane kick again. I couldn't get it before the stomp. Maybe I could have. Blackout kick here. Good. On use here as well. We're almost to the top, man. We're almost there. I don't like this hill. It's better than the other side, though. You know it's rough when this is better than the other side of the dungeon. Dispel that. Oh, dispel that. I have a 7 stacker. Let's just send it. Yeah, let's just send that. Do damage. Do healing. Let's just use our statue. Do healing. Dodge stomp. Doesn't take much to dodge it, but you know. <laughs> Never know. Kick that. I'll send a Todd. I'll just send it. Why not? I got nothing else really to Todd. Dispel. Dispel. Good. Okay, cool. Not bad. Dispel. Drink. Super quick. Okay. Nice. Nice. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Don't worry. Don't forget about me. Okay. All right, there, we got two two um, two mobs here, so this shouldn't be too bad to heal with the Chi G. Yeah. Kick that. Yeah, we got a lot of Chi Gs. It's nice. It's, it's a lot easier when uh, <laughs> you have multiple people stacked up. We missed. Don't have one. I can dispel here. Nice. Dodge stomp. She wave here. Heal elixir to heal myself. So it doesn't cost any mana to heal elixir, so it's just free healing essentially. Dodging, nice kick on that. Necrotic breath. Dodge stomp. Chi wave here. I like chi wave more than chi burst. Dispel that. Todd wasn't working there? That's weird. Nice, good. Be healing. I think I'm just going to Todd this thing straight up. Done. All right, let's go. I don't think I need much mana for this boss fight. Like this guy, I don't know, Tree Mouth? It's a very creative name for a boss, for sure. <laughs> but, uh... This guy doesn't really do too much. You have the vine whip. Just don't stand in front of him. It's the white. There was that white frontal. Don't stand in front of him. Um, decay spray. He's going to target somebody. You just want to kill the adds uh, that spawn. And then when the adds die, they're going to leave like behind a green goo. Uh, grip it, grasping vine is like the main mechanic. Someone needs to get um, like eaten. Usually it's the tank. Um, like consumed is the word, and they're just going to take some damage. I'm not tyrannical. It's really not too bad to heal through, and so that's the boss fight. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, oh, on use here, and Chi-Gi, just because with multiple adds, it's a lot easier to get instant enveloping mists out. Nice. Nice. Good. Valence stomp here. Decay. So, again, uh, we have a lot of melee. He tries to get closer. Cap that. Cap that to spell it. Oh my god. <laughs> Big damage here. Um, I don't have DBM. So I kind of need to uh, <laughs> enable it. Nice. Someone gets consumed. Oh no. I thought my tank got consumed. He does have the debuff. To, uh, if you get consumed twice, you do take more damage the second time. Um, you can see he went right through my cocoon. But again, non tyrannical, it's really not that bad. So. It's no biggie. Sweep uh, the the ads so that they don't cast anything. Oh, it's on me. Maybe I should have kept it a little bit closer to my team. I guess it's mostly melee. Yeah, I probably should have just uh, kind of stacked on the tank. Vine whip, just dodge it. Renewing mist, renewing mist. I think we've gained mana this boss fight. So, you know, that's, I'm saving my Todd for like the next... 
part. I'll drink a little bit here, though. I have no problem with that. We're doing really good on trash. I think we have like one, a few more trash bowls, but nothing crazy. This guy, listen, I'm not even going near him. Like straight up, I'm I'm gonna outrange this dumb thing. I'm just gonna crackle. I don't know if that's the correct way to do it. I haven't watched any single Mythic Plus guides on this place, but all I know is this guy hurts. So I'm just gonna stay a little far away. Uh, dodge the whirlwind. I'm gonna crackle during this, and then you can outrange the breath. If you, so if he targets me or the priest, all right, it's on the red pele. Okay. Spell that. Nice. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm not dying to this guy. He's This guy looks at me and I die instantly. So I'm good. I'm good, buddy. <laughs> Sink breath. Nice fade. See? Just chill. Just gonna not die. You know what? I will rather not die than to embarrass myself. Unless there's something I can do to avoid the damage. Then it's even more embarrassing. Which I maybe there is. <laughs> Um, just gonna skip uh, a bunch of the trash here. We're doing pretty good on trash right now. Um, I think we want these patrols. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna Chigi here. Send the uh, send the totem totem statue. Okay, I'm a monk. Rob these guys. Nice bop. Actually, insane bop. I love you. I love you so much. I'm just staying in the fight now. I do have a ten stack shoes gift. I'm sending. I'm sending. Yeah, love it. Love it. Yeah, this this pull uh, sucks. I'm going to keep it real. Like, this guy can't really be CC'd, so... I don't even think he can be CC'd. So, he's enraged. Just spam shooting at you. Uh, we got the bear. This this pull isn't too bad. Just kick the, the birds. Screech. Yeah, that's it. Screech. Especially when they're um, enraged. <sighs> okay. Good. Good. Spell. Nice. I don't think I need to drink. I mean, I'll start drinking, but I don't think I need to drink. I think we're just going to crank damage right now. Usually put traps in the middle of the uh, room. I'm just going to cheat you here because they're all stacked. Go and Velt Mist on whoever. Velt Mist. Damage here. Throw Velt Mist out. Renewing Mist is on everybody. This is kind of what you want. Dispel this. Nice. Hyena's dead. Switch so chilling right now. I do have 10 stacks of Shaylin's Gift, so we're probably going to use that if more than one person starts taking damage. Chi Wave here. I'm just going to send it. Why not? The buffs are insane. Good. All right, I have 40% more healing, too, which is good. My next one is Duplicate. Uh, I put the trap in the middle of the map. Middle of the map. The middle of the room. It's just easier for the to get the Hyenas through it to spell that. Could have sworn I could have walked in between those. Maybe I'm dumb. Could be dumb. All right, they're targeting me. Try to bring them through the uh, traps if you can. It's kind of like the freehold boss with the sharks. Just bring them through the traps. Shouldn't be. It's not that bad on non-tyrannical. I'm pretty sure you can even live if they, like, get to you. Maybe not. I don't know. But eh, it's not that bad on tyrannical. Good. Good. Um, again, 58% mana. So mana's looking pretty good right now. And we have 9% trash plus... What? Last boss, and that's it. So let's just get through this. On use here. Let's just crank this guy. Sweep everything. I'm going to on use, or statue. I keep calling it on use. Statue here. And uh, just do damage, really. Spell that. Yeah, that's actually perfect. Goddamn, that was actually a beautiful pull. Nice, we got 6%. Um, gonna mount up here. All right, let's go. A lot of this is skippable. Actually, all of it is skippable. Just mount up and 
try not to pull anything. Okay, I think we're good. Someone pulled something? Ah, that's unfortunate. I don't think it was me though. I swear it wasn't me. Maybe we can skip like part next to uh, the next part maybe. But I swear I didn't pull that. Nice. Lone gnome legs. Maybe we can like skip. We're gonna have to patrol with the boss though. It's gonna be kind of annoying. Yeah, we'll see. Oh my. Technically, I do have a B res with the bracers I have. Todd. Um, I should have this. Good. 5%. And we have 4.15 left. Um, is there anything we can skip? Maybe not. Okay. Let's do it. Be healing. Probably won't be able to two chest this, but hopefully, I mean, we're doing pretty good right now, so. Dodge Rage Storm. I don't know what killed us there. Actually, I, I want to look at the death log. I don't know what happened there. I'd love to kick that. All right. Kick that. All right. Don't want to pull that. The Vile Rot Hexer. Rot Hexer. Okay. Maybe we could just skip this part right here. Just kind of go straight to the boss. Big damage. I think we can. I'll get there. Once once Ray Storm's down, don't you worry, buddy. Oh. Okay. That's the patrol. So yeah, we're probably just gonna skip that next pot. Nice. Nice. I think we have perfect trash right now. Spell this. Nice. Dodge. Spell. Yeah, this uh, the first part of this dungeon I think is the hardest part, but once you get past the second boss, I'm going to save Todd for the totem for the next boss. It's like not that bad of a dungeon to spell. Yeah, mana should be fine. Uh, this boss doesn't too, do too much. Um, he does have a few mechanics, but I'll kind of talk about it. Um, he summons... The choking rock cloud, which is just a bunch of bugs. You don't want to stand in it, that circle, pretty much. Decay strike. Uh, it's, I think it's a frontal, or I think it's just hitting the tank. Uh, rock burst totem is this totem right here that you need to kill, or it does AOE damage. I'm just going to taunt it. And that's pretty much the fight. Uh, there is one more mechanic that you kind of need to save cooldowns for. It's not decay strike. It's... um. I'll say it when he starts saying it. Or starts casting it. You can time your spells though. So decaying strength. So this is I'm gonna use diffuse magic here, and I'm gonna use my Shaylin's gift right towards the end of the cast. And that's pretty much the main mechanic that can kill you. You can rotate your diffuse magic with your dampened harm. I'm pretty sure. I don't know the t the exact timer on it, but it seems like you can. The spell. Nice. Thank you, Pallies, for doing my job. Use my statue. Okay. Good. Good. Maybe Decay Strike isn't a frontal. I just don't stand in front of him when you cast it, but it doesn't seem like it's much of a frontal. Big damage here. Big damage here. Uh, so I'm going to Dampen Harm here. Maybe it's a 45 second cooldown. I'm just going to use Shaylin's Gift here. Yeah, Shaylin's Gift seems to line up with it with the six stacks. Six times eight, 48. So yeah, it's about 48, 45 seconds probably if I get to fuse magic back. Oh, hello. And I have Todd coming back, so not the, maybe this one actually? Nah, we'll wait for the next one. If there is another one. Dispel that. Rappers totem. Yeah, okay. I can Todd this one. Decay strength. I'm going to defuse magic here. Yep. 
Good. All right, yeah. So it line you can you can rotate between uh diffuse magic and dampen harm. Use diffuse magic first. Actually, no, I can't rotate max dampen harm. Dampen harm is two minute cooldown. Diffuse magic is a minute and a half. Dispel that. GG here. Boom. Felt mist here. Thunder focus the boom. Maybe we just kill. Nice. Nice. That's the first 20 of the season. As you can see, a lot of push keys in this season. A lot of push ones. That's pretty good, though. Let's see if we got anything.